Introduction Baking homemade sourdough bread with a chewy crust is a rewarding culinary endeavor that requires patience, practice, and attention to detail. Sourdough bread, known for its tangy flavor and hearty texture, is a beloved staple in many households. By following a few key steps and techniques, you can achieve bakery quality results right in your own kitchen. Creating and maintaining a sourdough starter Start by creating or obtaining a sourdough starter a mixture of flour and water that has been fermented by wild yeast and beneficial bacteria. Feed your starter regularly to keep it active and healthy, allowing it to develop complex flavors and leavening power. Mixing the dough In a large mixing bowl, combine flour, water, and salt, along with a portion of your active sourdough starter. Use a combination of bread flour and whole wheat flour for optimal flavor and texture. Mix the ingredients together until a shaggy dough forms, then cover and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Kneading and Folding After the initial rest, knead the dough on a lightly floured surface for about 10 to 15 minutes, or until it becomes smooth and elastic. Alternatively, you can use a technique called, stretch and fold, where you gently stretch the dough and fold it over itself several times. Repeat this process every 30 minutes for the first 2 to 3 hours of fermentation to develop gluten and improve the dough's structure. Bulk Fermentation Once the dough is kneaded or folded, transfer it to a clean bowl, cover tightly with plastic wrap or a damp towel, and let it ferment at room temperature for several hours. The exact fermentation time will depend on factors like room temperature, hydration level, and the strength of your sourdough starter. Aim for a bulk fermentation period of 6 to 12 hours, or until the dough has doubled in size and has a slightly puffy texture. Shaping the loaf After the bulk fermentation is complete, gently shape the dough into a round or oval loaf, being careful not to deflate it too much. Place the shaped loaf onto a floured surface or proofing basket, seam side down, and cover loosely with plastic wrap or a cloth. Let the dough proof for an additional 1 to 2 hours, or until it has increased in size and feels slightly springy to the touch. Preheating the oven and baking. About 30 minutes before baking, preheat your oven to a high temperature, ideally around 450 to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, 232 to 260 degrees Celsius, and place a Dutch oven or baking stone inside to heat up. Once the oven is hot and the dough has finished proofing, Carefully transfer the loaf into the preheated Dutch oven or onto the hot baking stone. Score the top of the dough with a sharp knife or razor blade to allow for expansion during baking. Creating Steam To achieve a chewy crust, it's essential to create steam in the oven during the initial stages of baking. You can do this by placing a pan of hot water on the bottom rack of the oven or by spraying the walls of the oven with water using a spray bottle. The steam helps to keep the surface of the dough moist, allowing it to expand and form a crispy crust. Baking and Cooling Bake the loaf in the preheated oven with the lid on, if using a Dutch oven, for the first 20 to 30 minutes, then remove the lid and continue baking for an additional 20 to 30 minutes, or until the crust is golden brown and crisp. Once baked, transfer the loaf to a wire rack to cool completely before slicing. Allow the bread to cool for at least 1 to 2 hours to allow the crumb to set and the flavors to develop fully. Conclusion Baking homemade sourdough bread with a chewy crust requires time, patience, and attention to detail, but the results are well worth the effort. By following these steps and techniques, you can create a flavorful and hearty loaf that rivals those found in artisan bakeries. So roll up your sleeves, fire up your oven, and get ready to enjoy the delicious taste and texture of freshly baked sourdough bread right at home.